हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन ओके सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम अवर न्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ कॉमर्स मीन्स ओ सी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट very easy subject you can easily score mark with this subject okay osi ni andar ma je vastu tamne apeli hase e tamare 80% che ene memorize karvu padse nahi e vastu tame samajsho ane ए वस्तु ने तब ध्यान थी मेन जी कंसेप्ट है यू याद हसे तमने तो एना जी सब्सिडरी पॉइंट्स हसे ए तमने इजीली छे याद छे ही रही जैसे मारा साइड थी प्रयत्न एवोज रहे कि आप डायरेक्टली है ये वस्तु नाम सांभिए तो एना तमने जी बेजिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है एना शू फायदा है शू नुकसान है मीन्स मेरिट्स डी मेरिट्स और एडवांटेजेस डिसेडवांटेजेस ए बधी वस्तु तमने आइडिया है इजीली आ जाए एवं अँ थी मारी साइड थी प्रयत्न है रहसे फ्रॉम दी व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन ओके तो खूब सरखी रीतना ध्यान से आपजो जेने आपने वस्तु से बहुत सारी रीतना क्लियर से थाय तरा आ न्यू सब्जेक्ट है बराबर है बट घनी बड़ी वस्तु जी आप स्टाडर्ड टेन्थ अंदर में भेला छे ओके एम एवं पॉइंट है ये आखी बुकनी अंदर में क्या ने क्या जवा से बराबर है बहुत सारो सब्जेक्ट है तेने इजीली अंडरस्टेन्ड से कर सको बहुज ईजी सब्जेक्ट ओके तो आज आप फर्स्ट चेप्टर से डिस्कस कर सी एम थोड़ो घो पार्ट आप डिस्कस करवाना छे सो लेट अस स्टार्ट चेप्टर नंबर वन नेचर पर्पस एंड स्कोप ऑफ दी बिजनेस ओके सो आपने अँ बिजनेस विषय कई कहवा आ लोग ये वस्तु तो पाकी है बराबर है कारण के आपने जी टाइटल आप अंदर में बिजनेस है ओके तो सौ पहला आप जी टर्म आपने आपी है बिजनेस एना आप रिलेट करिए तो जी बिजनेस एमा मेन वस्तु शू हो तो सौ मेन वस्तु ते जो तो बिजनेस अंदर में आप जी सकी कि भाई वी केन सी बाइंग एंड सैलिंग वी केन सी बाइंग एंड सैलिंग आ जी बाइंग एंड सैलिंग होनी अंदर थी तमने प्रॉफिट से मत हो अंदर थी तमने प्रॉफिट से मत हो सो मेन एम ऑफ एवरी बिजनेसमेन इज टू अर्न मोर एंड मोर प्रॉफिट बराबर है ह्यूमेन सौ मोटू एम शू हो गए बिजनेस में थी कि भाई एमने वारे में वारे प्रॉफिट से मलव जो है जी एक्टिविटी में एक्टिविटी इन विच एम इज ऑफ 
earning more and more profit is termed as economic activity okay तो एवी एक्टिविटी जेनी अंदर में मेन एम है योफिट अर्न करने होके तो ये एक्टिविटी ने अपने इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी कही है सो बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी बोथ आर क्लोजली रिलेटेड विथ ईच अदर बिकॉज इन बिजनेस मेन एम ऑफ एवरी बिजनेस मैन इज टू अर्न इज मेक्सिम प्रोफिट एंड इन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी वी सी देट द कंसिडरेशन गिवन इज ऑलवेज हायर टू देट ऑफ मनी so money or profit is the core part of any business money or profit is the core part of any business doing economic activity okay another term we have already discussed in our accountancy class is non economic activity non economic activity okay activity which is performed for act of kindness without any motive of profit okay so every activity jeni andar ma apde profit upar aim nahi karta ओके एवं जो एक्टिविटीज आप जीए छे एने आप नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी है ये कही है दे आर डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ एक्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी एंड फ्रॉम देट वेरियस एक्जाम्पल द बेस्ट एक्जाम्पल विच वी केन इजीली सी इन अवर लाइफ इज देट अवर मधर टेकिंग केर ऑफ अवर ऑल ओके तो आप जी माँ हो आप जी मम्मी हो आप जी केर लेता होनी तमने कोई दिवस कहसे नहीं कि भाई कि आज मैं तमने ध्यान ध्यान रखू अथवा तो हूँ तरु ध्यान जैसे पंदर वर्ष थी राखू छू तो ते मैंने एना पैसा है आपो कोई दिवस कहसे नहीं कह सो देट इज एक्ट ऑफ काइंडनेस एक्ट ऑफ वेल बीइंग विच इज टास्क परफॉर्म विथाउट एनी एम ऑफ गेटिंग प्रॉफिट ओके सो देट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी इज कंसिडर्ड एज नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी बिकॉज वी केन नॉट सी एनी काइंड ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट बाय द एक्टिविटी परफॉर्मर बाय अवर मधर और एनी अदर पर्सन हु इज डूइंग काइंड एक्टिविटी विथाउट एनी एम ऑफ गेटिंग प्रॉफिट इज सेड टू बी डूइंग नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी वाइल द पर्सन हु टेक्स money instead of giving goods or services they are doing business so ultimately they are performing economic activity okay so we have already discussed it earlier that 
we will see the things surrounding to the business. So the main things surrounding to business are economic and non-economic activity. We have already taken its short or brief information which is enough for us to move further. Okay. So that is all in your book which is given in introduction and topic number 1.1 that is economic activity and topic number 1.2 that is non-economic activity. No further explanation regarding to it is given and no further information is needed to be read from the test book. We are enough with this. Okay. So I will give you the brief information which is given in your test book. Whenever we will need to refer the test book, we will also refer it. But we will try to explain maximum by our own words which can be very helpful to you to understand it easily after explaining after hearing my explanation you can refer the test book which can make your point more clear okay but i will try my maximum to make things clear 95 percent by my own way of explaining the things okay i hope there are no doubts and any problems with you with this if any person have any kind of problem they can contact me and we can find a clear solution for that okay so topic number 1.3 will be our difference So after only learning the definition, we can easily point out the differences. Okay, you have to just activate your mind and think about the things we have learned. So we are here differentiating the two concepts, economic and non-economic activities. So first thing and point of difference we have seen and the most important thing which we have seen in, from which we can differentiate about this topic is that in economic activity we earn profit in non-economic activity there is no focus on profit there is no profit of there is no purpose of profit okay ultimately the aim in the economic activity is to get benefit profit means economic benefit but in non-economic activity there is no expectation of getting economic benefit but it is the activity of human welfare human well-being and etc etc okay in economic activity we have different kind of sectors which perform the economic activity but we have no different kind of sectors in non-economic activity so there are no types or different sectors but in economic activity we can see different kind of sectors like person who do business earns profit person who makes profession from profession we can get an example of doctor lawyer teacher they are the professionals who are performing the different kind of professions okay I am a teacher so I so my profession is of teaching okay business and profession and one more thing that is employment all of these three things are the types of economic activity okay from which the person can earn more and more profit from business person can sell goods or services from profession 
person can provide service and get economic returns in their <coughs> can get economic returns employment person can perform job under this superiors and can earn salary okay so there are three different types of economic activity and there are no types of activities in the non economic activity there is only one type that is human welfare human well being and not earning any kind of profit okay so while doing business profession employment there arises the chance of risk there arises the chance of risk but while doing non economic activity there is no risk there is no risk because risk word comes where you are you where you are getting the things to earn more and more profit but when you are not aiming of earning more and more profit then there will be no risk at all so we can clearly say that in non economic activity we don't have any kind of risk and in economic activity as we are doing the activity for getting more and more profit more and more money according to our needs to satisfy our needs so there is risk okay very clear and simple difference we have seen with the four points okay we don't have to take a look of the test book if we have understand the concept very clearly you can easily differentiate any kind of things related with each other and you can easily interpret the things which were things you have been asked in examination but first thing is that you should have the clear knowledge about the concept of that particular thing which is asked okay next thing we are going to discuss in brief is about types the last point of difference we have seen types of economic activity we have seen there are three types business profession and employment so one by one we will discuss all these three types okay today we will try to complete any one of this type so first type is business we have already seen the meaning of business we'll still remember it once business means any of legal activities legal activities with the aim or motive of profit is termed as business so business means any legal activities which are performed with the motive of earning profit okay in simple terms now we should describe it in more suitable manner so let us start you are doing business i have started a business okay naming x y z company so first thing that my i established my company i have kept in my mind why i am establishing my company okay so my first aim of establishing company is to earn 
more profit more profit okay more profit how can i earn more profit okay so i can earn more profit by selling more goods or services it is easy if i sell more goods i will earn more profit so in business we have to do exchange of goods and services okay now i am selling the goods and services for the earning more and more profit so there are the chances that sometimes the things which i have produced things which i have manufactured which will not generate the returns means which will not generate the profit there are the chances because i am doing the business so i am facing the competitions okay so there is a risk in earning the profit because the products which i am selling that should have the good quality that should generate the utility and that should be satisfactory for the customer customers to use okay so i have the risk in the market that my product will be sold or not okay and there are different kinds of risk too that the things which i have manufactured can be seen that they are out of fashion after some time or there is a change in lifestyle of the people so if the lifestyle of the people changes then there are the chances that my product will become absolute or old and there will be decrease in demand and ultimately i will get low profit so this is our kind of the risk as an example we can say that first before 10 to 15 years of time i think you were not there but uh, you can easily not down that or can visualize it like uh, 10 years back the fashion of jeans was of boot cut okay then after 5 to 6 years it continued for 5 to 6 years then after that the fashion changed the fashion of the jeans became parallel okay the people were wearing the parallel jeans after some evolution and today we are seeing that person are wearing narrow jeans which are narrow means tight to their thighs and till their feet okay so there is a change of fashion if i will do the production of the boot cut pants today boot cut jeans today then there are the very rare chances that i would earn profit because people will not accept it if people will not accept it then i will not earn profit okay so this is a kind of risk in the business okay there are different kind of more risks which we will dis- discuss it in further okay sometimes there happens that employees goes on strike our production remains still and we cannot earn the profit from the market as we are not producing there are the chances of fire strikes lockouts lockdowns pandemics etc so these are the risk while we are performing the business okay now as we have different kind of risk so the person who is doing the business will try to manufacture the product which will be available in market and there will be a huge demand in the market okay so the goods and services which a businessman is producing will have utility will have utility means the person who are purchasing the goods or services from us 
will get the satisfaction from that commodity okay so in business when we are producing or manufacturing anything we are manufacturing by keeping in mind that that product or service should create utility for the customers so the customers get attracted and they will purchase our product and we will earn the profit okay if all the things work for the organization and person is earning more profit by a particular commodity or goods or services he will not stop there okay in business if a person is earning profit then he will wish to continue that particular business for earning more and more activity so we can say that business is a continuous activity business is a continuous activity okay if a business is a continuous activity we have to make production of services and goods continuously and for making the production of goods and services continuously we will require the capital we will require the money we will require the money to manufacture the goods and services for purchasing the raw materials for giving the salary to the employees who are doing the work of manufacturing okay so we will require the money to continue our business okay so this are the main six things which are related to the business when the word business comes in your mind then this thing this six things should also come in your mind and seventh and subsidiary thing which is not that much important because it almost covers with our topic business is an economic activity which we know very well but for the point of explanation in our textbook we should keep in this our mind okay so we have discussed the characteristics of a company sorry characteristics of a business okay so starting with the aim of earning more and more profit we have reached till requirement of money for the continuation of the business now if only the thing you have learned is a topic named business then whole characteristics can be easily learned by you okay i hope you like this kind of explanation and try to understand these things because i need you all to interpret the topic like i am interpreting here okay further when we will study different kind of topics then you should understand the definitions clear and visualize the things which are happening around it and you will easily learn the concept subordinates like objectives characteristics and different kind of things okay so now you are doing business so there will be certain objectives no one do the activity without any kind of objectives okay so here we will see two kind of objectives first objective is economic objective it is a simple thing normally the person who do business will always think of the economic returns so earning economic benefit is related with the uh, doing the economic objective okay second objective is social objective okay so first we'll discuss economic objective economic objective 
so you can now easily visualize it economic objective so economic means profit so first thing the businessman or the person who is running the business will have the objective of earning profit okay and by earning his aim will be of doing his wealth maximization wealth maximization okay so there are main two important economic objectives first is of earning more and more profit second is of his wealth maximization wealth maximization means investment of 1 lakh gives return of 50000 so now his wealth will be of 1 lakh 50000 so it is simple simple that there is a wealth maximization by doing the business another kind of objective which we will see is social objective social objectives refers to the society in society we have different people who are our customers who are our customers who are purchasing our product okay so what should be our objective regarding to our customers that customers who are purchasing goods or services from our business or company should get goods with good quality second thing which we will adopt is that customers who are purchasing goods from us we should adopt we should adopt fair practices against them fair practices like when the goods are sold to a customers then suppose a customer is taking 1 kg of goods and we are giving him 930 grams then this is not a fair practice of trade fair practice of exchange means we are cheating the customers okay another example we can take of unfair trade practice is of advertisement sometimes the advertisement which appears in the television or mobile or billboards any kind of medium of advertisement there are some misleading information which are provided by the businessmen for attracting the customers customers get attracted by this kind of misleading advertisement and ultimately they get exploited okay so it is the aim of the business it is the objective of the business to adopt the fair practices and not to do this kind of unfair practices which harms the customers so these are the main two objectives under the social objectives which are related to the customers okay next
बिजनेस इज परफॉर्म इन दिस सोसाइटी ओके सो बिजनेस इज यूटिलाइजिंग द रिसोर्सेस विच आर अवेलेबल टू ऑल द पीपल इन दिस सोसाइटी सो देर आर जनरल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ बिजनेस टूवर्ड्स द सोसाइटी विच बिजनेस शुड कीप इन माइंड ओके लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन of infrastructure if the business is harming the environment okay then it should create different types of arrangement for the society that they can reduce the pollution in that particular province where the business is perform okay so there are certain kind of social responsibilities of business there are different kinds of social responsibilities this is a kind of example okay social responsibilities towards customers towards government towards employees towards there are different kinds of people okay which are using that product or which are in the society get harmed by that particular business okay so in return the businessman's objective or the objective of the business is to provide certain responsibilities regarding the society okay so there are certain responsibilities of business towards the societies okay so society and there are responsibilities towards the society so three points of objectives under the social objectives okay there were mainly two objectives economic objectives and social objectives in economic objective we have already discussed the two points wealth maximization and profit and in social objective we have discussed three topics okay moving further if the business is provide performed in the society then it is the it should be the aim of the business to create employment opportunity in that particular area where the business is performed okay so fourth objective of the business is to provide employment opportunity to the person who are residing in the society <clears throat> okay so this are the main four social objectives of the business in total if we interpret the things then we have seen the total six objectives in the business which are divided further into the two sub parts that is economic objective and social objective in economic objective we have seen two kind of objectives that is profit and wealth maximization and then we have discussed the social objectives in which we have discussed the four main points from providing good quality of product and services adopting the fair trade practices providing employment opportunities and to fulfill the social responsibility of business towards the society okay so this were the main six points of objectives of business okay now when we are performing the business we have certain kind of risk so we will take a look of it that what kind of risk we can face at the time of performing the business we will not go in detail okay we will directly interpret it with the two things means two kind of risk 
first is natural risk and second is man made or man induced risk okay so i think you can easily get the knowledge about the both the terms natural risk are the risk which are occurred due to the nature like earthquake flood which destroys or gives the heavy damage to the business so that is the natural risk and man made risk are the risk which are suffered due to the ignorance of the mankind okay so danger which is caused due to the ignorance of the human being like dangers caused due to the employees not producing the things not utilizing the resources properly then it creates the risk for the business not manufacturing the product of the good quality which can assure the customer which can give the satisfaction to the customers so this type of product if released in the market will not be purchased by the customers so ultimately it can create the risk for the business and this kind of risk are said man made risk so there are mainly two kinds of risk natural risk and man made risk moving further we will see what are the reasons by which the business risk is seen okay so now we will see causes of business risk okay so first thing is we have already discussed that <clears throat> change in fashion ultimately we can say it change in technology we are living in the modern world in which day by day we can see the evolution of the technology advancement in the technology so with the advancement in the technology there is a change in fashion and with the change in the fashion there is the change of demand in customers and when there is a change of demand in the customers there is also a change in the production pattern of a particular business or company okay so when the technology changes the products which are manufactured by the company are also intended to be changed okay so this arises the first risk okay second competition we can say it or we can say it threat of substitute product okay so here we can take an example of technology with this substitute threat okay both of these things both of these causes of risk can be clearly understood with one example before the evolution of the technology we were using radio radio was the main medium of the passing out the information and for also the entertainment purpose radio was used but with the evolution of the technology with the change of technology today we have replaced radio with televisions radio with televisions okay radio is the substitute of television okay so now a person who was selling radio previous time if still he is selling the radio then i hope then i think that his business will be ruined he would have not been earning the profit like he was earning previously when there was no change in technology 
but with the advancement of the technology we have moved towards the our substitute product that is television so now the person who are the manufacturers of the television will be earning the profit okay so these are the threats third and most important is competition i think it doesn't need any kind of explanation because it can easily get in your mind competition okay next fourth point is legislation 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 the word means different kind of government rules and regulations okay so there is a risk in this we can see sometimes that government changes its rules and regulations which harms the business okay as an example we can say that we we are not seeing this kind of things in our india but uh, outside of india as an example of canada there is minimum wage policy any person who is offered work will get the minimum wage minimum wage in canada is different from area to area but we can say the 12 dollar per hour is an average minimum wage so now in canada any person who is offered to do a job or employment in a particular business he would definitely get the minimum wage of 12 dollars and higher there is no limit okay but he should be offered 12 dollar minimum per hour okay so this is a kind of government regulation if this regulation is changed in canada and canada decide to make the minimum wage 20 dollars per hour then the business unit will be acting upon it okay so government regulations sometimes creates the problem sometimes create the risk for the business okay point number 5 uncertainty of demand okay sometimes the demand of our product becomes less so due to the less demand the selling of the product will also less and ultimately it will harm the profit earned okay so uncertainty of demand is also a kind of risk sixth and last point will be our physical risk physical risk like risk related to the machinery risk related to the asset there is sometimes problem with the asset too which can hinder the production process okay so physical risk is also a kind of risk which creates the problem for an organization to continue their production in a particular market and to earn the profit so here we complete our whole topic of business which is the first type of economic activity we'll keep up to here for today's lecture okay today we have discussed the introduction of business economic activity non economic activity difference between economic activity and non economic activity 
types of economic activity in which we have discussed the first type business in business we have discussed different kinds of characteristics objectives and risk of the businesses tomorrow we'll start with the profession and we'll discuss the second type of our economic activity that is employment and further we will discuss the remaining part of the chapter and we will finish our chapter i hope you have enjoyed this lecture today and uh, i hope that uh, i was able to clear the certain things regarding to this subjects we will meet tomorrow and try to complete the first chapter from our organization of commerce goodbye take care